Hey, all my friends at Story Point Senior Living. This is Gina. I'm here to paint again with you today. I miss you guys so much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Um, so let's get at it. We're going to do a lake scene, and I'm going to show you what you need. You'll need your big flat brush. You'll also need a small detail brush, your napkin. You'll need these colors. It'll be white, and it's a bit of like an aqua color, bluish, greenish color. You'll need a dark green, brown, purple, pink. So it's white, aqua, purple, I'm sorry, pink, purple, brown, and green. Anyway, so let's get, oh, and also you need your cup of water, so make sure you have that too. And this is the size that you guys work on. It's an eight by 10 stretch canvas. So let's get started. I want to fill in the background first. And we're and actually we're gonna be doing the water, uh, the water and the sky all together. So when we lay this in, we're actually doing the water and the sky. So let's start with our, and you know me, if you've painted with me before, I like to load up two colors on my brush. So I like to grab some of my kind of turquoise color and some of my white. So I get a little both of, of those colors on there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I just start to lay it in from top to bottom. I just keep working down, keep working down. Feel free to pause um, this anytime you want so you can catch up if I'm going too fast. But again, I'm just picking up some white and some good turquoise aqua color and I'm gonna go back and forth. And I like it to be streaky. So the streakier, the better. So if you have streaks of white in there, that's good. And there's someone at my door, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Now, we're just going to continue working, whoop, lost my napkin. Working our way down, edge to edge, so I'm covering up the, the sides as well. So I'm going edge to edge. So you just don't want to go in the middle like this. You want to take it back and forth. Then keep adding a little white in there too because it kind of gives it a nice streaky effect for the clouds and the water. Go all the way down. And you can stop about right there. You can leave some extra white at the bottom. That's okay. Make sure all my edges are filled in. I also wanted to mention you'll need a hair dryer too. So hopefully your staff will have a hair dryer there for you to use. And we're going to be about right here in the process. So it's going to be streaky, kind of a turquoise blue and white. And then you can stop about right here. Just, you know, you're just leaving a little bit at the bottom. Now I'm gonna take a hair dryer and dry this. So this would be a good time to pause and have your helpers dry all this for you, okay? Okay, now wash your brush out really good. So I'm gonna take my cup and my brush and I'm like painting the bottom of my cup. It helps me get loosen up that paint. And then take your napkin and you wanna squeeze that water out. So you don't wanna have any water in your brush. That'll make for a runny painting. Okay, so I squeezed it all out. Now we're going to use this brush again, 
but this time we're going to use the brown and the green and again you know how I like to do this I like to take my brown and my green so I have brown can you see that better brown and green on there a little more brown than green because we're going to do this back area here this is um, land in the back and we're going to do the land that's in the front too so land that's on the back side here of this like lake or river and we're going to do the front too so let's put our paintbrush about middle midway here and just make yourself kind of like a hill and it can get a little thinner as it goes out but make it make yourself like a hill like this you can make it a bigger mountain if you want you can make it any shape that you like and it gets thinner as it goes out and if your hands a little shaky that's fine because that makes it look more natural it doesn't have to be perfectly straight you can make your mountain any shape you want as long as it's thicker on this side and thinner on this side so now you have something that looks like this and let's make ourselves a mountain not a not a mountain it's more of a of a landmass here and it's right in front of you it can be a little hilly like if you like it can kind of maybe go up and diagonal so it kind of goes up that way fill it all in with that brown green color and if you need to pause the video to get your back land mountain shape and this land in front of you this shape here remember kind of curve or kind of like you know, lose angles up like this in a diagonal direction if you need to pause to get to this point go ahead and do that now and then also dry it with a hair dryer should have something like this now let's get some of this out of here um, we have all this brown and green in it so let's again wash our brush and I scrub down to the bottom of my cup hold on to your cup so you don't spill it and I want to get all that. You can even scrub on the sides of the cup too. And the bottom, really loosen up that paint. Dry it off, squeeze that water out of that paintbrush. And I want you to hold your paintbrush like this, not up and down, like a long ways like this. We're gonna hold it sideways. So it's kind of like a flat brush, but we want to hold it so it, we're gonna okay now that we're we've cleaned our brush out and we're going to put it in the white we're gonna dip it into the white and we're gonna go in a motion that goes back and forth but not we're not gonna make a wide stroke we're gonna make a thin stroke so you have to turn your brush sideways and I kind of tap off I get a little bit of white tap off the excess and now I'm gonna make a few little clouds that go back and forth Maybe one here maybe another one right here and they're just you're just gonna go back and forth make some streaky clouds that's all I did is just put some white on my brush and just go back and forth side to side like in two spots then I put a little more little more white on my brush and I'm gonna make some waves like in the water that, that are catching 
or the, re the reflection of the clouds and the light. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, making a little bit of movement in the water and reflection. Now let's wash this brush out again. And if you need to pause at any time, you can pause. I'm washing it out. I'm gonna dry that off. Now let's make the tree, the purple tree. And I know some of you have done this with me before and you have a lot of fun just uh, kind of pouncing and bouncing the tip of the brush onto the canvas. So let's dip into our purple. So we're just dipping into the purple. So you have it on your brush, the tip of it. And I'm gonna start because the tree is all on this end. It's almost like a bush tree. And it ha we're gonna do it in purple first. And I'm just gonna start having fun making a shape. And I'm just bouncing the top of my brush. See, and I'll turn it to the side too so you can kind of see how I, I'm just bouncing it and I'm making kind of like a shape of a bush. And it's all just irregular. You can kind of turn your, don't, don't turn more, uh, your brush while it's on the canvas, but if you're going to change direction, make sure you kind of do it when you're off the canvas and then you can t change the direction and it kind of gives it a little more of a organic feel. A little more natural feel. So I'm gonna bounce all around this right side. I might come out and hang out a little bit more here. Maybe some uh, part of that tree is hanging out a little bit more. Maybe it's coming in and maybe it's coming back out here. Make it look kind of natural. Some parts are hanging out a little more than others. Some come in, some come out. And then I fill in the whole right side with some purple. You can go into the grass area a little bit. Once you get that light in, see, I can see some of the purple, or the, I'm sorry, uh, I can see through the purple, so I can see some of the sky back there, so you don't fill it all in solid. You want a little bit of that background showing, a little bit of that sky, so don't have to, you don't have to fill it in solid. Now I'm going to add a little bit of pink, so you don't have to wash your brush out. And again, if you need to pause, go ahead and pause. I'm just adding some pink. So once you get all this laid in, the purple, Get some pink on the uh, tip of your brush and do the same thing. And I just add in certain areas. I don't try to fill it all in. And if you don't like what you've done, you can go back over with purple. You'd be like, oh, well, that's just too much pink. And that's okay, just grab some purple. You don't have to wash your brush out or anything. Get some purple, just go back over some of that if you don't like it. Just do a little bit. Now we're going to use, and again, if you want to take a break, a little pause until you get your purple and pinks in there, go ahead and pause. And then I'm gonna kind of set this brush aside. I don't need that big one right now. I'm just setting it aside. And I'm gonna take my detail brush. It's my skinnier brush. And I'm gonna dip it into the brown. Just the tip. I'm just getting the tip of that in there. Okay? Then I'm going to come in and make, well, let me show you what this looks like. See, I've got little lines of the, um, the tree trunk and the branches. They're just tiny little lines that stick out, that start to appear through the, um, through the uh, foliage. So you're only doing a little, little areas that peek through. Okay, so we're just going to, when we have brown on the tip of our brush, and I'm just gonna make 
little line. There's a line. And you see how it just doesn't, it doesn't go all the way up. Maybe, maybe you can see a little bit, bit of it there too, maybe where it's growing out of the ground. And then I kind of skip and do another part of it. Maybe there's a little Y. Sometimes I make my branches look like Ys. Makes them look a little more natural. Let's get a little bit more paint on the tip of my brush. Maybe I make another little kind of a Y there as well. Maybe another little Y that's a little branch that's coming out of that branch that I made. Maybe just random branches that come out every so often, peeking through the purple and the pink. So if you want to take a little pause and get that in there. If you feel like you need to put more purple or pinks in there, feel free to do that and kind of make it your own. And then the final step is if you like to do this, get a little more on the tip of your brush, a little more of that brown. And I like to make these little birds in the background. And the birds are just like, think about kind of like M's or little V's. Actually, V might be a better way to say it. They're like little V's. Tiny little birds in the background. So this is your lake painting, and I can't wait to see how you guys uh, did on this. I can't wait to see the pictures. So hopefully uh, your helpers will take some pictures of your progress and your finals, and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.